कृपया ध्यान दीजिए India has the fourth largest railway system in the world after US, Russia and China. Four hundred new generation Vande Bharat trains to be manufactured during the next three years. Hundred PM Gati Shakti cargo terminals for multimodal logistics to be developed. To achieve its green mission, Indian Railways has solarized more than 1,000 stations. Indian Railways operationalizes its most powerful 12,000 horsepower made in India locomotive. Indian Railways is rapidly progressing to accomplish mission 100% electrification and become the largest green railway network in the world. It has commissioned Wi-Fi at more than 6,000 railway stations across the country. 2,000 kilometers of railway network to be brought under coverage, the indigenous world-class TCAS system. Lakshi yehi hai ki samanye yatriyon ko better suvida mile, kaam ke liye aana jana asan ho. Hello and welcome viewers, you're watching the special presentation of Sunset TV on making India a manufacturing powerhouse and today our focus is on Indian Railways. Team Sunset TV has boarded India's first semi-high speed train, Katiman Express, that runs between New Delhi to Jhasi. It is one of the fastest trains in India. So while I cover this distance, viewers, please get ready for the speed ride as I'll take you through the journey of unprecedented growth and modernization of Indian Railways in recent times. So come along. Indian Railways has a crucial role in the economic growth and development of our country. Be it carrying agriculture produced to distant places, aiding growth of industries and connecting major ports, railways have significantly helped in bridging the distance between different places and regions of our country. As a relatively cheap mode of transport, it has been a preferred mode of travel and one of the instruments in national integration. India's railway sector has undergone a remarkable transformation. The government has placed immense focus on modernizing and revitalizing the Indian railways, recognizing its pivotal role in driving economic growth and connecting the nation. The Indian Railways consists of a total track length of 1,26,366 kilometers with 7,335 stations. The railways operate 13,523 passenger trains and 9,146 freight trains daily. Indian Railways is the single largest employer in India and the eighth largest in the world employing approximately 1.3 million people. 14 states and union territories have achieved 100% electrification of rail networks as of March 31, 2023. With the aim to provide an eco-friendly and energy-efficient mode of transportation, a lot of emphasis has been given to railway electrification. India plans to have the largest green railway network in the world. By the year 2030, the Railway Ministry has set a target of becoming a net-zero carbon emitter. Further electrification of tracks will not only reduce India's dependence on imported petroleum-based energy, but also enhance the country's energy security. The Indian Railways aims to achieve 100% electrification in all states by December 2023 deadline. The government has expanded the railway network by laying new rail tracks in various states of our country. During 2014 to 2022, 1,544 kilometers falling fully or partly 
in northeastern region have been commissioned at an average rate of 193 km per year, which is 190% more than average annual commissioning achieved during the period of 2009 to 14. For example, providing rail connectivity to northeast India has been the topmost priority of the government. Rail link in Arunachal Pradesh, rail link in Assam, rail link in Tripura, rail link in Mizoram have already been converted into broad gauge. Indian Railways is also expanding its network to Arunachal Pradesh's Tamak. The railway connectivity is being expanded in Jammu and Kashmir like never before. The whole train is make in India. IRCTC has ensured that the passengers of one of India's fastest trains have the finest Epicurean experience. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ma'am, breakfast में आलू के पराठे हैं, vegetable cutlet है, omelette है, wood from South Indian है, boiled veg, boiled egg. क्या provide करूँ, ma'am? The coaches used in Gatiman Express are new. LHP coaches turned out by Rail Coach Factory in Kapoor Thala. These coaches have also been fitted with balanced draft gear couplers for smooth ride. The Indian Railways has installed the bio toilets in the entire fleet of passenger coaches as part of Swachh Bharat mission. Adopting the anaerobic bacteria, the first of its kind in railway system in the world, the Indian Railways has installed the bio toilets in more than 79,000 passenger coaches during 2021-22, which prevent fall of nearly 2,74,000 litres human excreta on tracks every day. To achieve this eco feat, India finally developed the eco-friendly enabled anaerobic bacterial system under Make in India initiative. In fact, the onboard catering on Gatiman Express is being organised. The IRCTC has made arrangement for deploying train hostesses also on board of the train. This is the first time that we are taking uh, this train and uh, travelling to Agra by Gatiman Express. And uh, it's been a very, very pleasant experience. The train left dot on time. The catering was decent. The toilets are clean. And I think we'll reach dot on time. So on the whole, a uh, highly recommended train. And one can see uh, how much Indian Railways has uh, uh, progressed. Viewers, now we have arrived in Chasi. Get ready to experience India's manufacturing prowess in the railway sector. From the Chasi railway station, we went straight to the unit of our Maharatna, the embodiment of Make in India, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. What we saw was a gigantic, one of the largest engineering and manufacturing companies of its kind in India. The company has supplied thousands of electric locomotives, de-locomotives, electrical multiple units, track maintenance machines to Indian railways. A locomotive or engine is a rail transport vehicle that provides the motive power for a train. The sheer size and scale of this unit is something you can fathom only when you visit. Several locomotive types are equipped with last mile, hybrid or even dual power functionality to allow more sustainable and efficient operation concepts. Initially the locomotives were imported and then it was uh, the technology was internalized and now we have supplied more than 130 logos of this type 
and overall uh, we have supplied uh, around 400 locos to indian railways and uh, 300 locos for डीजल इलेक्ट्रिक सेंटर लोकोस फॉर वेरियस इंडस्ट्रीज हम लोगों ने जब 350 लोगों को बनाया तो पहला लोको हमारा था जिसमें कि काफ़ी माल हम लोगों को बाहर से मंगाना पड़ता था और उस लोगों को बनाया इसके बाद हम लोगों ने मेक इन इंडिया के तहत अपना टेक्नोलॉजी को डेवलप किया I also got an opportunity to go inside the locomotive and work for a moment as an assistant locomotive pilot on the testing track an experience that will be eternally etched in my memory The locomotive has fully air conditioned driver's cabins on either ends a well equipped regenerative braking system which offers substantial energy saving during the operations and can be tracked via GPS through embedded software and antenna These high power locomotives will help decongest the saturated tracks by improving the average speed of freight trains It's late afternoon at the manufacturing facility and inside the massive hall the heat is intense but the work is on on full swing the clang of clashing metal reverberates around the factory workers are weaving parts together huge overhead cranes on rails are transporting large underframes to their assembly points well it was time for us to bid adieu i had an unforgettable experience covering the make in india initiative in the railway sector while i board my train back from chhasi to new delhi i have packed snippets for you on how trains like vande bharat and tejas have emerged as symbols of aatmanirbhar bharat how we are constructing dedicated freight corridors how we are redeveloping our stations and how pm gati shakti is transforming indian railways so stay tuned the product of the make in india initiative the vande bharat express train was introduced with an aim to provide a completely new travel experience to passengers of the indian railways with speed safety and service as the hallmarks Vande Bharat Express trains are now operational on 25 routes. It is the next major leap for Indian Railways in terms of speed and convenience. The railways launched India's first indigenous semi-high speed train, Vande Bharat Express, in February 2019 between New Delhi and Varanasi. It is equipped with world-class passenger amenities and can achieve high speed due to faster acceleration. It reduces the journey time by 25 to 45 percent. The Vande Bharat 2.0 trains have the coverage, which is train collusion avoidance system, for enhanced safety in operations. These trains are a testimony to the capability of Indian engineers and a culmination of Make in India initiative. It is a big milestone towards realizing the Art Nirbhar Bharat vision. The best thing about Vande Bharat is. that this has been designed in india manufactured in india and when the original thought process was given by a prime minister the vision was given by a prime minister in 2017 initially the officers wanted to import something but our prime minister gave a very clear mandate that no the train has to be designed in india manufactured in india so this is how the Uh, story unfolded and today it's a very popular train i've seen people taking selfies with the train indian railways electric locomotive manufacturing made the batch of tejas express it features modern onboard facilities with doors which are operated automatically tejas means sharpness luster or brilliance and it truly is illuminating the make in india initiative First 12000 was power made in India locomotive manufactured by Madhepura Electric Loco factory situated in Bihar was put into operation by Indian Railways from Pandit Din Dayal Upadhyay junction station in 2020 it was a proud moment for Indian Railways as it became sixth country in the world to join the elite club of producing high horse power locomotive indigenously it was for the first time that high horse power locomotive operationalized on broad gauge track in the world the national rail plan envisages that the share of freight traffic by rail should go up from current share of 28% to 44% by 2051 
The construction of dedicated freight corridors on the important high density route is extremely important. This will offer high transport output with faster transit of freight trains. The unit cost of freight transport will substantially be reduced and there will be significant savings in the logistics cost as well. Ministry of Railways has taken up construction of two dedicated freight corridors. Eastern dedicated freight corridor from Ludhiana to Sonagar and the Western dedicated freight corridor from Jawaharlal Nehru Port Terminal to Dadre. 1,724 kilometers of dedicated freight corridors have already been commissioned till January 2023. In the rail the bulk transport reliably scheduled train operation. इससे देश में लॉजिस्टिक कॉस्ट की तो कमी आएगी ही साथ में जो डिले होती है अभी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन में उसको दूर किया जाएगा The foundation stone to redevelop 508 railway stations across India was also laid under the historic Amrit Bharat station scheme At a cost of almost 25000 crore the redevelopment will revolutionize how rail infrastructure is imagined in our nation it will boost ease of living and enhance comfort as well as convenience. Special care has also been taken to ensure the stations are in line with local culture, heritage and architecture. These 508 stations are spread across 16 states and UTs, including 55 each in Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan, 49 in Bihar, 44 in Maharashtra, 37 in West Bengal, 34 in Madhya Pradesh, 32 in Assam, 25 in Odisha, 22 in Punjab, 21 each in Gujarat and Telangana, 20 in Jharkhand, 18 each in Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu, 15 in Haryana and 13 in Karnataka. It has been targeted to commission 100 Gati Shakti cargo terminals. Traditionally, there was a lack of coordination between departments and ministries. For example, once a road was constructed, other agencies dug up the constructed road for activities like laying of underground cables and gas pipelines. This also led to high cost in the logistics sector. PM Gati Shakti, National Master Plan for Multimodal Connectivity, was launched for bringing 16 ministries, including railways and roadways together for integrated planning and coordinated implementation of infrastructure connectivity projects. In the last almost two years, the number of projects we've um, uh, assessed for railways on Gati Shakti is uh, more than 40 projects, uh, which are valued at more than 6 lakh crore rupees. It is estimated that Indian railways would need capital investment of around 50 lakh crore up to 2030 for network expansion and capacity augmentation, rolling stock induction and other modernization works to enable better delivery of passenger and freight services. To bridge the gap in capital funding and to induct modern technologies and improve efficiency, it is being planned to use public-private partnership model for few initiatives. While on one hand, Indian Railways is taking the Art Nirbhar initiative ahead by producing indigenously made trains and reducing the number of imports, the focus is also to export made in India products in different parts of the world. On a recent visit to Mozambique in Africa, External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar highlighted India's achievements as he took a ride in a made in India train from Maputo to Machava with Mozambican Transport Minister. Indian Railways is becoming a major supplier of coaches and rakes to other countries and is also contributing to make in India efforts. Indian Railways is aiming to become a significant exporter of Vande Bharat trains by 2025-26 to markets in Europe, South America and East Asia. India's first bullet train is slated to run in August 2026. The Indian Railways is building the country's first bullet train from Ahmedabad to Mumbai. The high-speed train will run at top speed of 350 km per hour covering the distance in three hours. The Indian Railways witnessed unprecedented growth in the development of infrastructure, innovation, capacity expansion and freight diversification. The government has been focused on investing in railway infrastructure by implementing multiple investor-friendly policies 
including FDI, to improve infrastructure for freight and high-speed trains. In fact, several domestic and foreign companies are currently looking to invest in India in rail projects. Further providing a boost to the Make in India initiative. It's not just the manufacture of the train or the manufacture of the locomotive, it's also development of the supply chains. These projects are transformational in terms of the impact that they would have on the Indian economy. We are working very deeply in all areas of the manufacturing segment. We provide mobility equipment as also equipment for use in trains, in electrification, in signaling of the railway industry. Well, the government under the Make in India program has initiated several measures to make it much easier for manufacturing within the country. Well, viewers, I will complete the journey of approximately 1,000 kilometers in less than eight hours. That shows the enormity of the task of connecting and transforming India with the help of railways. While as have a, my delectable meal, you please stay tuned to Sunset TV for all the important updates. With camera persons Nilesh and Manoj and camera assistant Alok, I'm Kriti Mishra signing off for Sunset Television.